Good morning, grade 3 class. Welcome to our recorded video for today. So, for our language activity this, activity this morning, let's talk about making meaningful connections of information isn't two. Now, as readers or students, it is important that when we read or when we listen to something, especially uh, things that contain information, may mga magaganda siyang tinuturo sa atin, we should be able to have or to create uh, connections with what we have learned. Okay? Lagi naman ganun, di ba? Pag may pinag-aaralan tayo, lagi nating iniisip or tinoconnect sa atin yung mga napag-aaralan natin. Anong magiging epekto niya sa atin? Okay? So, for us to do that, una, recall the selection, a call for Mother Earth. What is the call all about? Natatandaan niyo yung binasa natin ng Monday, yung binasa ko sa inyo, yung pinakinggan niyo, a call for Mother Earth. Diba it's all about a call para tulungang iligtas sino? si Mother Earth, iligtas yung land, yung water, and yung air. Pinag-usapan din natin yung mga mahalagang bagay na pwede sana natin gawin para maligtas si Mother Earth. Okay? Now, to make meaningful connection of the information you obtained from a call for, for Mother Earth, do sa binasa natin, para maintindihan natin siya at mailagay natin siya sa buhay natin, Kailangan sagutin niyo yung mga tanong na ito, okay? This is how you create meaningful connections. Una, okay, isa-isay natin na, connect the information to your own experience. Of course, everything that you have learned, you must look at it in your own experience. Ano bang naging experience mo na malapit dun sa natutunan mo? How does the information apply to you? Mahalaga ba siya? May kinalaman ba siya sa'yo? Or wala? May epekto ba siya or wala? Yun yung ibig sabihin nun. Have you experienced the same thing or a different one? What happened? So, pwede rin natin tignan kung may naging ganong experience na ba kayo dun sa nabasa nyo. Okay? What is your opinion about it? Masaya ba kayo dun sa nabasa nyo? Okay ba yun sa inyo? Yung laman niya? Ano masasabi niyo tungkol sa binasa nyo? Sa narinig nyo? And how do you feel about the information? Was it relevant? Mahalaga ba siya? Okay, so pag nagbabasa tayo o nakikinig, dapat ginagawa natin yan. Mahalaga ba sa akin yung narinig ko, yung nabasa ko, naiintindihan ko ba siya, may epekto ba siya sa akin. Okay, for you to create connection. Okay? Pangalawa, connect the information to other information you had listened or read. No? Halimbawa, may nabasa kayo na halos kaparehas din, magkaparehas lang sila ng laman. Have you encountered the same information before? Narinig mo na ba yung nabasa mo mula sa ibang tao, sa ibang lugar, sa ibang babasahin, sa ibang book? So, pwede yon. Pwede i-compare. Did it give you more details about the topic such as examples or more explanation? Yung binasa mo ba, mas, mas naintindihan mo ba siya doon? Mas marami ba siyang binigay na paliwanag? Mas marami ba siyang detalye kaysa doon sa una mong nabasa? Pwede rin yon. Did it agree with the given information? Parehas ba sila ng laman? Or magkasalungat? So, kinocompare. Okay? So, that's how you also make connection. Next, connect the information to the world. Siyempre, kung saan ka nakatira. Can the information happen in real life? Posible ba talaga siyang mangyari sa totoong buhay? Or has it occurred? Nangyari na ba? Is it happening now? Nangyayari na ba ngayon? Or is there, is there a great possibility it will become real in the future? Or posibli ba siyang mangyari in the future? So, yung a call for mother at binasa natin, nangyari na ba siya? Nangyayari ba siya ngayon? O mangyayari pa lang? I think nangyayari na siya ngayon. No? Medyo napapabayaan kasi natin ng world. So, that's how you make in a connection no? sa mga nababasa at naririnig natin. Okay? That's also important. Ha? So, tandaan niyo yan. So, that's all for our language activity this morning. Now, for our grammar, we discussed the whole week about the demonstrative pronouns. Now, si demonstrative pronouns, children, sabi sa inyo, ginagamit natin siya actually pang turo. Okay? Pero, in this lesson, pinaliwanag ko sa inyo na si demonstrative pronouns, ginagamit siyang subject and object. Subject siya kapag nasa unahan siya ng verb. Object siya kapag after the verb. Now, meron dalawang klaseng demonstrative. Demonstrative pronouns and demonstrative adjectives. Pronoun siya, children, kapag wala siyang kasunod na noun. Okay? Pero, kapag may katabi siyang noun, tao, hayop, bagay, lugar, 
ayun, hindi na siya demonstrative pronoun. Demonstrative adjectives na siya. Okay? So, remember children, a de uh, demonstrative pronoun, dapat R2 eh, are not followed by a noun. Okay? Kasi dito sa activity na gagawin nyo, hahanapin nyo sa sentence, GE page 70 to 71, hahanapin nyo sa sentence ang demonstrative pronoun. So, ang hinahanap ko ay isa lang. At ang hahanapin nyo ay yung walang katabing noun. Okay? Pag may katabi kasi siyang noun, demonstrative siya, pero yung function niya ay adjective. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin talaga ay demonstrative pronouns. Okay? So, I hope hindi kayo malito. Magawa nyo siya ng maayos. Galingan nyo, and we will see each other on Monday. So, goodbye, grade 3.